Hi everyone, Dollistic here. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome. And today I'm going to be unboxing Royal B from the LOL OMG Fierce line. Oh, I am so excited to get her. I actually started my LOL OMG collection with her original doll. Um, she's still one of my favorites to this day. Her hair is so beautiful. Her outfit is so fun. The like the gold and black bee motif. I just, I loved her original doll and I know I'm going to love this one. And thankfully, Target was having a little bit of a circle sale. So I was able to get her for $27 instead of $37. Of course, without tax and stuff, that was just the base price. But I'm so excited for her. Let's get into her unboxing. I just have to figure out how to do that. <laughs> So let's slide her out. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was surprisingly simple. Uh, just a few pieces of tape to cut. And here she is. Let's free her. Oh my goodness, wait. <gasps> are those actual chains? Holy crap. These videos are not made for kids, by the way. <laughs> Why do they do this? I hate these. I hate these so much. Claw her out without rolling her hair. Okay. Ooh. Put her there. Her earring came off. Okay. So we've got her out of the actual box. Now let's see what's behind this little window. I kind of hate that you have to tear apart this art of her because the LOL OMG Fierce art is so cool. All right, so we have a little poster, a little mystery bag. Okay, and then the brush. Okay, and I think that's supposed to be everything in this little side piece. Also, just like, oh, look at her. She's so beautiful. So look in this little thing. Also, honeycomb wrapping paper. So cute. Alright, we've got her B-Wing glasses. These are really neat. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. No way you could actually see through these. <laughs> but still extremely cute. Okay, and then she's got her typical gold hairbrush. No different than the regular OMG brushes. And... We have a poster of her, which is so neat. It says, make it bold, make it buzz, Royal B, make it boss. It has a full artwork of her with honeycombs as the background. And then on the back of the poster, there's another version where it's got all four of the Fierce Girls with their artwork. Um, I am, I really hope to get Lady Diva one day because I think her glow up is the best. Because, like, the original Lady Diva was, and I'm sorry to say this for any of her fans, ugly. Her first doll is so ugly. But this girl, this version of her, fucking slays. Oh, I cursed. It's fine. All right, we'll put the poster over there. All right, she comes with this adorable honeycomb purse that has a rubber band around it. Okay. And does it open? That? Yes. Okay, so it has a little hinge joint, so it opens a little bit. Can't really see inside of it from pretty much any angle. But it's got a little bit of space in there. Maybe enough to fit like an earring. <laughs> okay, and then we'll do her stand. It is a much larger base than the original OMG stands. It's also much taller. And it comes with two different waist clips, a smaller one and a larger one. Not really sure which one I'll need for her, so I'll take them both out. And then let me put this earring back in. 
Now let's get into the actual doll. First impressions of her. Um, she is really impressive. Mine has really tight shoulders. Hold on. Okay. So she is extremely impressive in person. Um, I'm loving this hair. She's got a combination of golden, golden brown, and then like a sort of mid-tone brown color. So her hair is very warm and has a golden hue to it when it hits the light. You can really see it on camera. And then the top of her hair is styled with a braid going across and then another braid, or maybe four separate braids, I'm not sure, that are looped into halos on the top of her head. She comes with these beautiful golden hoop earrings. They're nothing, they're not too detailed, but very interesting. She comes with the gorgeous fierce face sculpt, these partially closed eyes. She has large black eyeliner, golden eyeshadow smoked out with brown, these brown arched eyebrows, and she comes with baby hairs. They are not sculpted, they are painted to match the hair. And then she comes with a glitter lip that seems to be, it has a pinkish purplish shift in the glitter, which is very interesting. I rarely enjoy a glitter lip on a doll, simply because it's prone to come off, but this one isn't. So I'm very impressed. And then we'll start at the top. She comes with a blouse that is patterned black background with golden honeycomb. Uh, shoulder pads, shoulder armor <laughs> pieces that are combs. I'm imagining it's to look like a beehive. A set of golden ring necklaces that have bees sculpted onto them. Very cute. A belt that has a beehive waist clip. And her top actually comes with these chains sewn in, which I'm not sure if they're real metal or if they are plastic. But honestly, I don't care. They look like metal. She comes with black pleather shorts. And here, let me lift the top. It has gold stitching with thread all around and then gold square studs around the thigh. She has sleeve, half sleeves on her arms that are not attached. They are made out of black pleather with gold trim as well. And a golden bangle bracelet that also has bees sculpted on it that matches her necklace. She has netted stockings that are black with gold shift and gold trim around the top and she comes with these really neat shoes that I can't even really explain they're just so conceptual they are high heels with gold platforms they are made out of black they actually have honeycomb molded into the plastic of the shoe to I think to imitate a quilting technique, but it's honeycombed. And then it has black belts with gold hardware that are also hexagons to imitate the honeycomb. She also has this capelet on the back that is made out of gold thread with a gold fabric trim. And now we can go over her articulation. So she has articulation at the elbows. That was the shoulder. <laughs> uh, she is articulated at the shoulder. She's articulated at the elbow and at the wrist. Um, all of my joints are really um, tight right now. So if there's not a ton of movement, that's why. You just kind of have to warm them up a little bit and get them moving. Like, see, that's already much better. She has articulation at the hips and at the knees. And it's the kind of joint I like. So, you know, the regular OMGs have the bend and snap knees. And I hate them. I, I hate bend and snap knees. That's why I don't like older Barbies. This is the kind of knee joint that I like. You know, if I can't have, like, a made-to-move double-jointed knee, I would prefer this. Like, the Monster High, Ever After High knee. And do they have... I don't think they have articulation at the ankles. Let's see. I'll just... Get off. Oh, they do! Okay. They have a swivel joint at the ankles. Here, let me take this off so you can see. Yep, they have a swivel joint here. It doesn't go very far. Like, I don't think it goes... Yeah, it does not go all the way around. But that is very neat. It also... It goes back and forth a little bit, but not enough to really make a difference because it kind of just snaps back into place. And she has a really high arch on her foot. 
I'll just leave that off. All right. And I'm kind of interested in seeing what she looks like with her clothes off. Because I want to see the body underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, that's cool. Did y'all see that? Hold on. I don't think I've ever seen that on a doll before. So it's got like a real... Oh, wow. That's really neat. And this is plastic. It's not metal, by the way. You can tell because of how it's painted. And because it's not cold to the touch. Okay, so without the capelet on, that's what it looks like. She has sort of like a flare to her shirt. Very cool. Oh. Okay, she seems to have a bodysuit on. That I did not know about. I haven't actually watched any unboxings of her. I kind of do this thing... Where if it's a doll that I like super, super want, I typically don't watch an unboxing of them because it makes me want them too much. <laughs> and then I'm like pining for them. <laughs> I think X Canada has talked about it in one of her recent videos of like, you know, you really, really, when you really, really want something, it's hard to keep putting it in front of yourself <laughs> because then that temptation just gets stronger and stronger. Also, uh, for the record... X Canadensis and Zombie X Corn are my inspiration for starting this channel. I've kind of wanted to have a doll YouTube channel for a while because I don't have a ton of people I can talk to doll stuff, talk about with doll stuff in my real life. Or not in my real life, but like in person. And yeah, I just, I find myself wanting to talk about stuff more and more. And I'm a little too shy to do that on Instagram. <laughs> I have a few people I can message with occasionally, but I'm an extreme introvert and I'm extremely shy. So I don't, it makes me really uncomfortable like messaging people first. <laughs> Unless I know you decently well, I'll probably never message you first. <laughs> okay, actually, you know what? Let's go over the bodysuit. So underneath her clothing, she comes with this really neat bodysuit. Which, honestly, it looks like a swimsuit, so you could really just have her, like, chilling by the pool. Like, if you have the Pacific Coast High Play set, you could probably put her on one of those beach chairs and she would look stunning. Oh. But yeah, she comes with this black bodysuit that has a netted... It has a cutout over the stomach, but it is netted. And then it is trimmed with gold ribbon. Um, it's not trimmed all the way around. It kind of stops midway around the butt and at the crotch. Is that too pervy? I don't know. And then she has gold elastics holding it like a halter around the neck. Okay, so it looks like I am going to have to take off this necklace if I want to take off the bathing suit, body suit, whatever. That's pretty cool. For this price point, you basically get... Oh, it just flew across the room. Oh my god. Okay, well that may be gone forever. <laughs> anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh, uh, it's really nice that at this price point, you basically get like a full outfit that you can sort of tailor to your needs or your desires for display and then have something like this to where you can dress them completely down, have them in this bodysuit and just be like, she's a swim doll. She's the best possible version of those um, LOL swim dolls that came out. Was it last year at this point? I'm not sure. I never got them. Because <laughs> I was waiting until I found an articulated version of them. And that never happened. They actually never really showed up in stores around me. I had to drive about an hour and a half to a... What was the name of the store? It was like a discount store similar to Ollie's, but it has a different name. And I got there and they didn't have anything. Okay, so now that I'm done rambling, this is the body without the clothes on. Oh, doll nudity alert, sorry. So it has, she has a pretty typical body. Like, this is pretty standard OMG shape. Obviously, this is much differently made than the original OMGs. She is quite a bit taller. Um, here, let's compare. I wish I had been able to get, I should have gotten Queen Bee. Or royal be out to be able to do this comparison but she is a whole head taller than the basic omgs her entire body is made of the firm plastic there's no rubber except for her hands 
Also, the hands seem to be much larger, which I'm loving. And she comes with a... I love that I'm showing this hand completely disembodied. And she comes with a... Go, focus. She comes with a gold manicure. Yeah, I'm a much bigger fan of this body. Only because I prefer just plastic all the way through. I don't really like rubber on bodies. I know for some people, the bend and snap is ideal because it hides the seam. But, like, this looks really good to me. I think this is a great way to hide that joint. And, I mean, she's wearing stockings, so you don't really see it. This should just be the thumbnail. Right? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get her redressed, and then we'll wrap things up. While I'm redressing her, I did wanna... I have, so, I have something I wanted to say, and it's maybe a little, like, controversial and iffy. Um, but I do wanna say... That I like to actively seek out reviews that aren't from people who got PR. Like, I I absolutely will watch the review videos of people that got dolls in PR. I just prefer the absolute transparency of a non-PR video. And I know that this person is almost for sure telling me the truth. Because someone, you can really argue that, you know, if someone's getting PR, realistically, they could not be telling the truth. And I know that's a really cruel thing to say, because they work extremely hard to get to the point where they can get PR. Like, I do hope that one day I am successful enough to, like, reach that level. And my, <laughs> my integrity will probably be questioned at that point. But I think that comes with the territory. Like, if you're getting something for free, people are always going to question, do you like it because you like it, or do you like it because it's free and you want to keep getting free stuff? I love these high-waisted shorts. This isn't without the top on. Like, this, even this is a look. Like, this is, I have definitely seen people walk around like this. Like, this is a look. Oh, another thought while I'm redressing. Um, on the topic of redressing them, I'm not one to typically restyle my OMGs, mostly because I feel like they are... They don't feel like they're meant to be restyled. They feel like little works of art. Like, I, you know, I've... <laughs> when I first started collecting and my parents were like, why are you collecting dolls? I... I had to sort of, like, sit down and figure out, like, what is the reason I love them so much? Like, why why am I collecting them? Like, what's, what's the goal here? And I realized that it's because they are, like, little statues. They're little works of art. And that's kind of how I treat them. Like, uh, Rainbow High and Shadow High are a little bit different. Simply because they, they are screaming to be restyled. Yeah, they, they come with multiple outfits, multiple sets of shoes. They're kind of screaming to be restyled. But I feel like the OMGs aren't. Like, I think you are supposed to keep them the way they are, and that's how they're supposed to be. And maybe that's just a personal thing. It just... I don't know. I feel like the designs are so good. Like, even though I haven't been impressed by an OMG in a long time... Um, I think that's purely because of, like, numbers. Like, it just feels like there's too many at this point, and I can't keep up. Like, I can't even keep up with Rainbow High, much less LOL OMG and now OMG Fierce. Like, I want all of the Fierce dolls, because Royal Bee is the only one I collected from the original series. Oh my god, how did they get this on there? <laughs> Royal Bee is the only doll I collected from Series 1, because she was the only one I thought looked good. This bracelet is not going on. I'm not putting it back on right now. I'll do it off camera. <laughs> it's frustrating me. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yeah. So, with Series 1, like, Royal Bee was the only one I collected. And then, once you fucking know it, LOL OMG basically revived the fashion doll industry. No one can argue that LOL OMG brought us back to fashion dolls. Like, everything before them was a surprise toy, and I hate surprise toys. Like, 
the mini brands are pretty cool, but those didn't exist at the time. It was basically just LOL Surprise and, like, a crap ton of other more terrible <laughs> brands of just, like, crappy little kids' toys made out of crappy plastic. And then they come out with OMG, and basically within one release, like, one single OMG release, they revived the fashion doll game. And I'm aware that MGA makes OMG and Rainbow High, but, like, o OMG was so successful that it brought Rainbow High into the world. Like, you can't argue that this brand, whether you really enjoy OMGs or not, because I do understand the faces are not for everyone. I actually hated the faces when they first came out. But Royal Bee was so beautiful <laughs> that I had to have her. Royal Bee was sort of a intro. Like, she was my entrance point into fashion dolls. In collecting, in collectible fashion dolls and keeping them as little statues. And then Bella kicked things off. Because Royal Bee was the only fashion doll I had, like, bought specifically just to display and have for a long time. And then Bella came along and grabbed me by my throat. <laughs> Bella came up, grabbed me by the throat, and said, you're collecting me now. I'm the captain now. I think I'm going to use the bigger clip. I have just been rambling this whole time. So that's fun. It's been ha I've been recording for half an hour and I've rambled the whole time. All right. Let's get her glasses on. Oh my goodness. How about I do this without destroying her? That would be really wonderful. Ooh, um, what? <laughs> Ooh, she looked crazy. I love how tall these dolls are. It scratches an itch that I have for the 17-inch Disney Ellie's that I'm never going to get because I refuse to spend $130 on anything like that. But, like, oh, this scratches an itch. Okay, so, oh, sorry, gravity wants to take it from me. Okay, let's balance it on her arm. All right, so here she is in all of her glory. Royal B, LLOMG Fierce. I don't think these are going to stay, her hand, I don't think these are going to stay on her. And if they, I don't know, they're just so cool, but they look insane. <laughs> She's just got bee wings over her eyeballs. <laughs> also, her clip is at the top of this stand. Like, okay then, I guess the video's over. Um, <laughs> uh, right, I am so glad to have her, you guys. And she is going to tower above my OMGs and let them know exactly who the hell she is. Let them know fully who the boss is. Da boss be damned. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope this unboxing slash review was helpful. Um, I know I rambled a lot, but it is what it is. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure to like and comment. Subscribe, please, because I'm going to be bringing new videos every single week. And yeah. Have a good day. Bye-bye.